on the Bronx Journal, we have His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester. The Duke is a primary representative of the British royal family carrying many duties. He's the royal patron of the St. George's Society, which was founded in 1770 and is one of the oldest charities in the country and the largest British American philanthropy in New York. He's also here at Lehman College to speak to students about the role of the British Commonwealth in the 21st century. To find out more about the presentation, the St. George's Society, and his thoughts on conservation and architecture, I am honored to welcome His Royal Highness the Duke of Gloucester. It is an honor having you here, Your Royal Highness. It's a great pleasure to be here. Um, what is St. George's Society's mission? Well, it's, as you said, has existed for a long time, and I think like most of that kind of benevolent institution, it was initially set up to help those people who by accident or disease or whatever found themselves in, in a difficult situation. And uh, it enables funds to be held in order to help people who, who, who need it, basically. And over the years, it has drifted from not just um, Anglo-Americans, but also those who were, came from the Commonwealth, and their numbers have increased. A lot has happened since 1770. Mm. How has St. George's society adapted to the evolutionary changes that have occurred in society since then? Well, I think, you know, all communities change, and um, th the most obvious one, I think, is, is the fact that it's not just uh, English or British people who are living here, but also those from all over the Commonwealth that has attracted their attention. Um, and I suppose that's, that's the biggest change uh, over the centuries, so to speak. More recently, it has looked not just from the distressed, but um, also uh, students who are perhaps approaching the end of their uh, student careers uh, and are having financial problems. Well, I know that um, scholarships are also mm. part of that um, mm. change. How mm. is Lehman involved in that scholarship? Well, I think they had to start somewhere and they decided to start with Lehman because there are so many Commonwealth students who come here. And you have practiced as an architect and are now president of the British Society of Architect Artists. What depth do you feel the current generation has um, to preserve architectural heritage for posterity? Well, I don't think it's necessarily architects to preserve it. I think anybody who has a sense of history um, feels that having a uh, cultural background is, is an important part of any city. Um, there are, of course, those who like to knock down everything old uh, and put out something new. But I think f for a city to have a soul, it's very important, perhaps particularly for older people, to uh, feel that there are, is a permanence and that they don't like seeing everything ripped down just because it's a few years old. Um, of course, the art of the game is to preserve the best buildings and to put them to new uses. And we do that uh, fairly successfully in London. I mean, I think a lot of people who come from this city I uh, think that London looks very old-fashioned. Um, uh, others perhaps think it isn't old-fashioned enough. But, uh, well, it's like you said, you get to appreciate mm. the soul mm. of the city mm. and it mm. also talks about the history of the city, so I think that's great. I think it's also important to realize that if you knock a building down, you're actually destroying resources which maybe you know, the planet cannot afford to be, to be wasted and in the 21st century we're, we're very much looking at um, using our resources more effectively and very often it's lack of imagination that stops an old building being put to perfectly adequate new purposes by replenishing the inside. Here at Lehman, you'll be presenting a lecture called The Commonwealth as an mm. Expression of Global Community, mm. Not Empire. Mm. Can you give us a preview on your presentation? Um, well, I think, I think I will talk uh, a little bit about empire. I know it's politically incorrect and all that, but um, I, I, I like to make some comparisons with other empires and, um, uh, and then to, to go on really with my, my own experience of the, of the Commonwealth as I've experienced it. 
and, and to make a point about uh, some of the attitudes that we should have to, 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 the, to the, the global village, as it were, which in a way is a, a larger concept of the Commonwealth. And lastly, what advice do you have for students and young adults watching the program? Um, I think the point about being a student is that you're learning how to think, you're learning how to become uh, a useful member of society, and you're probably learning some technical expertise which will enable you to be employable. And, um, you know, that, that should be a, 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 a pleasant and um, advantageous process. Thank you very much for joining us, Your Royal Highness.